friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Your girl here. I've been spending. This video is going to be a little makeup haul. I did pick up some products that I've been wanting to review for you guys at Sephora and also at a couple of other brands, kind of in preparation for the Sephora sale, but then also just some stuff that I want to review for you guys that you've been requesting over the past couple of weeks. So if you want to hang out with me and see everything that I picked up and maybe get a little sneak peek into some of the reviews that are upcoming on my channel, then keep watching. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. I'll link all these products products and anything on my face in the description box down below. Shopping through my links is a great way to support my channel. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Sophia. If you love makeup, if you love talking about new makeup, then this is the place for you. I upload content every single week to my channel. I focus a lot on beauty, especially sort of like Sephora brands and luxury beauty with a specific focus on helping you not waste your money. So if that sounds of interest to you, then hit that subscribe button and you can also click the notification bell and do that every time I upload a new video. Let's get into this haul. Okay, party people, let's talk about my Sephora order first. Let me show you guys what I got. I am going to be uploading this week a trying new makeup video where I'm going to be demoing a lot of these products that you're going to see in this haul today. I also have a couple of standalone reviews planned, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you guys want to see those. Let's start off with the foundation product that I picked up. This is the new Say Foundation. This is the Say Glowy Super Skin Lightweight Luminous Foundation. I picked up the shade two. I did start testing this. I have worn it twice. I definitely have some thoughts. If you are a shade twin for me, I think that this shade works pretty well for me. This was like the most light neutral shade I could find. It's a little bit golden. This is supposed to be and is a super duper glowy foundation. And this is definitely going to be featured in that trying new makeup video. And I'm gonna be sharing not just first impressions, cause I've already used it twice, but I am gonna sort of give you guys like a mini review of this, especially because the Sephora sale is coming up and I wanna let you guys know if I think it's good. So I'm gonna keep testing it. And then when that video comes out, you guys will know what my thoughts are. I also caved and got the new Givenchy concealer. I waited a little bit and I decided I wanted to give this a try. I am wearing this one today. I do wanna keep testing this one out a little bit. It's kind of hard to test a new foundation and a new concealer together. And once again, this is the Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer. I don't think I gave the name of it. This is the new one that just came out from Givenchy. And the color that I got, if we are shade twins, is N95. I think it works great. It's a very nice brightening shade. If you're new here, every two weeks, I do a will I buy it style of video called Pass or Yes, where we talk about all the new makeup releases out on the market. And I give you guys my thoughts. And I told you guys in the most recent episode of that, that I did pick up the Rare Beauty bronzing sticks. Now these aren't new, but she did release new shades. So I wanna show you guys, I got the two lightest shades. I got Power Boost and Bright Side. And yes, Bright Side is the new one. I'll show you guys some swatches here just so you can see the newer shades seem to be a little bit more neutral, a little bit more appropriate, maybe for like contour or bronzer. This is Power Boost and this is bright side. So I am going to be doing a review of these. Look out for that. A lot of people have asked me if the new shade bright side is a dupe for the Westman Atelier face tray stick in Biscuit. And I definitely have my thoughts. I'm testing them out. I'm actually wearing these two sticks today. So I just put the power boost kind of like all over the high points of my face. And then I did use bright side sort of as like a little bit of a light contour. So I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on those, but I picked those up in case you guys are wondering if the new shade is good and kind of like what you can use it for. What else, what else? I got some refills of my favorite brow products. So first up, I've got the Glossier Brow Flick. This is in the shade Brown. Love this for just a little bit of like definition and kind of like, here, I'll show you guys. So you have like a little gap right there in my brow, just kind of fine tuning my brows. That's what I like to use this for. I don't just use this product though. First, I go in with this. This is the Kosas Brow Pop. This is just like a really good brow pencil. It's kind of 
just my go-to right now. I love the packaging. I use the shade medium brown. It's just like a really nice natural brown. I don't like anything that's too warm toned. That's the big thing with me and my brow products. I don't want a warm tone brown. I want a very nice neutral to maybe cool tone brown without it being black. So those are two of my favorite brow products. So I just got some refills of those. Also, this product isn't new, but it is new to me. It's a little bit random, but I decided to pick it up. I'll explain. This is one of the blushes from Dior. And this is a color that a lot of you guys have told me that I need to have because you know I love nude blushes. This is the color 459 Charnel, Charnel, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is what it looks like. It's a very beautiful nude shade and it has a little bit of, I guess like a satin texture to it. I went in with that on the tops of the cheeks and then because I wanted a little bit more pinkness because of the eye look that I did today, more on that in a second, I used the RMS blush in the shade Pink Rose. So I'll link that down below as well. I do have a 25% off coupon for those blushes, by the way, if you missed it. But one of the reasons why I picked this up is not only have I been wanting this for a very long time, but I noticed the other day that on the Dior website, their blushes were not listed on the site. Like for a while, they pulled them off, then they put them back on, and a lot of people have been saying they think that they're gonna be reformulating these soon. And so I just wanna make sure that I get this one that I really, really wanted before they start taking those blushes off the site. I noticed at the time they didn't have them on the Dior site, but they did have them at Sephora. So I said, you know what? I'm not gonna wait for the Sephora sale. I'm just gonna snag it. And I don't know, it was kind of like a little birthday present for myself as well. Speaking of birthday, I also got the Sephora birthday gift. They had a couple of ones to choose from, but I picked the skincare one because I actually really like these products from pharmacy. So we've got the Honey Potion Plus, which is a ceramide hydration mask. By the way, look how cute this packaging is. And then they also have the Honey Halo, which I think is a moisturizer. I really like the Potion Plus mask because it's kind of like warming and soothing and very moisturizing, and I have dry skin. And then lastly, they have the Green Clean Cleansing Balm, which I've tried in the past and I didn't really like, but I also had never really used a cleansing balm before and I might have been using it wrong. So I'm going to give that one another try. So I got the little fun birthday gift. It's always fun to get something free from Sephora because we all know the rewards program isn't that great. But when you get the birthday gift, you feel a little special. So that is everything that I got from Sephora. I did want to mention that just before I filmed this video, I did get a couple of boxes in PR and I did receive the Isum Mascara. I don't know if any of you guys have tried this before. This is not sponsored, by the way. It's just, I am wearing the mascara. I decided to try it out. So far, I really like it. I was so relieved to open this up and see that the brush was my kind of brush. Very thin and tapered, not curved, not big and bushy, something that's very easy to just kind of control the volume and gives a lot of length. So I'm excited to test this out. I am going to like a hibachi birthday dinner for one of our friends after this. And so I'm excited to kind of put it to the test, you know, with like the hibachi, the, the fumes and the food and the grill and all that kind of stuff. I feel like that's a really good way to test mascara. So we're gonna be putting this to the test this week, but I did just wanna let you guys know that I am wearing a new mascara on my lashes today. And my first impressions without doing any kind of wear test is that I actually really like it. Next up, I got a little something from Dior and I'll explain why I made a purchase. If you guys have shopped on the Dior Beauty website, you will know they do have a loyalty program. And just like any other loyalty program, as you buy more stuff from Dior Beauty, or if you're like me and you're reviewing a lot of products and you gotta get them off the site, you go up in the ranks. Well, last year I reached platinum status, which was really, really nice. And you do tend to get more gifts and the gifts sort of keep getting nicer and nicer as you go up the ranks. Whenever it is your birthday month, Dior Beauty has a birthday gift for you. Last year, I never got the birthday gift. They basically ran out of them, never sent it to me. I'm still salty about it. But this year I got my birthday gift. So let me show you what the platinum gift looks like. And then I'm also gonna show you the eyeshadow palette that I picked up as just my main order and then I added the gift on. I wanted to pick something that I had been planning to get anyway that I sort of have, have been wanting to get. So let me show you the platinum gift 
first. I opened up the box and it smells so good because it is a little candle set. So this is what the box looks like. Open it up and these are the little candles. Oh, it's, it's The smell is intoxicating. These two teeny little votive candles smell so good. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to burn these because they're just so cute. Let me take one of them out. We have the scents Amber Nuit and Jardin, Jardin, Garden, Garden de Orangers. Oh my God, I'm butchering that. I'm so sorry, friends. Let me show you what they look like though. We'll take the little packaging off. Isn't that adorable? I'll put it up here for size reference. They're tiny, like they're little votive candles, but they're made of this really nice, I guess, ceramic material. I don't know what this is. Really, really beautiful. I'm probably gonna use these as little decorative pieces, maybe on my desk or on my vanity or a bookcase or something like that. So I thought that was a nice little platinum gift for moi. And then for my main order, I bought another eyeshadow palette in the shade Bronze Sepia. I have been wanting this palette for a while. I kind of pumped the brakes a little bit earlier in the year. I was doing a little bit of like a low buy. This came out, I wanna say in January. And then I saw All Feisty review it and I thought it looked really, really beautiful on her. And I thought this would be kind of like the perfect neutral Dior palette for me where, you know, these three shades are a little bit more on the neutral side. And then these two are more of like those warm tones that I really like. So you've got a lot of options here. I've already worn this palette like three or four times since I've gotten it. I am gonna be including this one in that trying new makeup video. So we're gonna chat a little bit more about it then, but just wanted to show you guys this really pretty palette. And if you guys have been wanting this, tune in for that video. The next thing that I picked up, I actually had to go get it out of my handbag just now because it's been there for the past couple of days. If you guys miss it, I also picked up the Floral Denim Collection from Guerlain. I already have a full review on my channel of this. Unfortunately, the eyeshadow palette is already sold out. I know. Can you believe it, guys? It sold out so quickly. Now, I will keep an eye out for you guys if it comes back in stock. It hasn't even launched in some countries. A lot of you guys let me know it wasn't launched, I think, in Canada. It wasn't launched in a couple of other countries. So let's see what happens. I will notify you guys if it comes back in stock, either on the Guerlain website, if it comes into the Sephora sale, fingers crossed. If it comes to some department stores, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, paying attention to the community board, and also follow me on Instagram because in my Instagram stories, that's when I tell you guys when things come back in stock first like as soon as I can I let you know but thankfully the lipstick cases are still in stock I have both of the lipstick cases I bought one for me one for my mom and then I did go back and buy the other one for myself because I like them so much I I just I figured they were gonna sell out so I decided to go and get myself the other one yeah these are absolutely great I won't talk too much about these because I already have the review but I did want to give you guys an update that unfortunately this did sell out, but I'm gonna be keeping my eyes out for you guys for when it comes back, hopefully. Now let's address what is on my eyes today. Many of you guys will also know I reviewed every single shade of the Victoria Beckham Eyewear. These are the new eyeshadow sticks. So I have a full review of that up now if you guys wanna see swatches. Spoiler alert, they're really good. Hopefully that review helped you guys figure it out what, you know, what shades you want. The look that I'm doing today, I actually copied off of a little reel that Victoria Beckham Beauty posted on their Instagram page. So if you guys wanna see how I did this look, go to the Victoria Beckham Beauty Instagram page and check out like one of their recent posts. It was super duper easy to do. I'm probably gonna be talking about these in my March favorites coming up this week. And I am gonna share with you guys the colors that I've been using the most and just a couple of application tips for those of you who have kind of been sharing your experience with me and need a couple of tips. I also picked up two of the Hourglass eyeshadow sticks. Some of you guys know I did a review on these as well. And I also compared them to the Victoria Beckham Beauty ones. So if you missed it, I also picked two of these up. Did you guys see, I think it was Bobby Brown, they are launching dual ended eyeshadow sticks. So it's like more eyeshadow sticks. All the brands are launching them right now. I feel like they're all talking to each other. Next up, I got Glossier, more Glossier. With Glossier, a lot of times it's just me refilling my favorite items rather than like buying a ton of new things because they don't have 
that many new launches all the time, which I kind of like. I like just enjoying the things that I like from Glossier. And the first thing that I picked up is the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara, specifically in the brown color. I wanted to get this from Sephora, but they didn't have it in stock. So I just ordered it from the Glossier website. And then I got this other thing that I've been wanting so that I could get the free shipping. Y'all know how that goes. And I wanted this for sort of very natural, no makeup makeup days, you know, for like the spring and the summer, but also because I like to use this mascara to kind of blend in fake lashes with my natural lashes because it doesn't get like all gunky. It doesn't get the fake lashes coated in too much mascara to the point where you can't use them again. So I like to use the black one for my fake lashes. And then I got the brown one because I recently was gifted some pairs of my favorite lashes in like a brown color, super natural, but I didn't have any brown mascara to use with them. So I picked this one up. I've been wanting to get that for the past like three weeks and I finally just ordered it from the Glossier website. I also got another bottle of the Glossier Future Dew. I really like this product. It's one of my favorite products from Glossier. By the way, if you guys miss it, I did do a Glossier video reviewing like most of their makeup products. So I can link that down below. And the Future Dew that I had, I had had it for like a, a while. I had had it for a while. <laughs> And I was like, you know what? I think this might be a little like expired or sort of near that time. So I decided to pick up a new one. So I'm excited to use this for once again, like no makeup, makeup looks and kind of like those spring and summer types of looks. I do want to do some sort of spring themed get ready with me's. I've got the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette with me. I've got, you know, this kind of look with the Victoria Beckham eyeshadow sticks. I've got the new Get Lamp palette. So comment down below and let me know if I were to do like a spring get ready with me or maybe one or two of them, what eyeshadow palettes or products do you guys want me to use? Or is there anything that I can show you in that video, you know, maybe aesthetic wise that you are looking for? Let me know down below and I will do that video. Because of my work hours, I now have to film in the afternoon and in the afternoon here in like the front room where I film, the sun comes in super duper hard. So if you see the sun coming in, if you see the light changing, if you see me maybe like getting a little sweaty, I'm so, I'm sorry friends, like I'm so hot right now. But we're gonna keep this moving along. I have just a couple things left here to show you guys. The next couple of things that I picked up are from Jones Road Beauty. I've been wanting to review this brand so, so badly. I've been really wanting to try out their products and I finally just bit the bullet and I went and I placed an order. So the first thing that I got, I already filmed the full review of this and this is going to be up. It's probably going to be the next video that I put up on my channel. I did get the bronzer in Dusty Rose. So I'm super excited to share that review for you guys look out for that. That was the first thing that I wanted to get. The second thing that I've been testing out is the mascara. It didn't even occur to me to get this. And then I can't remember what video it was, but All Feisty said that this was really good. And I was like, oh, must add that to the order. So I got this and it came in a set with a couple of other things. Let me show you. And these were things that I was gonna get already. So it was kind of like a bonus for me. So I also got the Jones Road. These are called the Face Pencil. And the set that I got, which I will link down below, comes with two of them. So I got shade one and shade two. These are both very good shades for me. One of them is like a little more neutral. One of them is a little bit more pinky, but they both work. I've also been testing these out a lot. I think I'm gonna do kind of like a roundup video of all the Jones Road stuff that I've tried just to kind of give you guys like a good rundown. And then I do have a quick standalone review of the bronzer that I already filmed. Lastly, I got not one, not two, but three shades of the Miracle Balm. Let me show you guys which ones I got. It was very hard to decide. And I looked at a lot of swatches on their website and on their Instagram and all that. The first one that I got is Tawny. So this is the tawny color. Look, we can put it in the sunlight there that's coming in. This is, I don't know, like a reddish brown almost. A little bit more of a blush color, I would say. I also got the shade Sun Kissed. And I know that these look really dark, but you have to remember, friends. Here, we can swatch this one. I am gonna do, I think, a standalone review of these as well. You have to keep in mind 
that they're they end up being super sheer so that's why I got I think this is the darkest shade I got this one to see if it would give me like a really nice natural bronzed look I definitely need to test these out some more I really only tested them out once when I first got them so you're gonna have to wait another like week or two for me to like really put these to the test to share my thoughts and then lastly I got the new one which is called Miami Beach this is just like a really pretty bright fun coral it reminds me of a juicy fruit or candy or something like that it is just pure summer in a container that is everything that i've purchased and then the last thing i want to show you guys is actually something that i was gifted from one of my very loyal subscribers who i had the pleasure of meeting here in san diego we met up for coffee and we talked pretty much for hours until her boyfriend came to pick her up and i had a fantastic time you know who you are and i had to show you guys what she got me i have never tried anything from this brand before this is the adorable little pouch and this is from the Dries Van Noten Beauty brand, or their beauty line rather. This is what the packaging looks like. This is one of the lipstick cases in the shade in the colorway Snake Malachite. And I just think this is so cool. Look at this, guys. This is so, so cool. I know a lot of you guys, you've gotten these before and you've watched reviews about them. I actually have never even really watched any reviews of them. I've never tried them. She really put them on my radar. And so the way that this works is that this is the lipstick case and you can kind of mix and match the top and the bottom if you have other lipstick cases, which is cool. So you can kind of have like your own little colorway, your own little um, custom creation. And then just like how a lot of brands are doing this, you buy a lipstick refill. And so they've got matte formula, satin formula, and they have a sheer formula. So I am now going to be picking out what shade to get. I have been looking at the shade. I'm not quite sure what to get. If any of you guys have the Dries Van Noten lip products, comment down below and let me know what shades are your favorite. What shades do you think I would like? I'm sort of, even though I'm tempted to get like a brighter and darker shade as I am known to, to do. I am a little bit tempted to get a much more nude or maybe one of the sheer shades just so that this can be a little bit more versatile so I can carry this around with me kind of for any type of look and I can just put it on. So I'm leaning a little bit more towards a nude but there's a lot of really cool like purples and reds and other colors on the site. So just wanted to show you guys the sweet little gift that I got. Thank you so much. You know who you are once again who gifted this to me. I absolutely love it and I needed to share it with you guys and also ask for your recommendations for the lipstick shades. All right, friends, that is it for this haul. Those are all the items that I picked up over the past couple of weeks. These are the things that I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys very, very soon. Hopefully we can get prepared for the Sephora sale. I do have some recommendation videos that are going to be coming out. Also look out for my March favorites video, which hopefully will be live later this week. I have been testing out a lot of like new skincare, new sunscreens, moisturizers, you know, body scrubs and that kind of stuff to get ready for summer. And I am gonna be sharing some of my favorites in that video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And sound off in those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of these products. Have you tried any of them so far? Are you excited for me to review them? Input any review requests that you have in the description box down below so I can build my content queue for you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.